Hello. In order to process an HMC sequence, we need to track a set of markers on the actor's face. In this step, we will assign each marker a unique name, so that we will be able to track it later. At the same time, we will specify where each of the markers is located on the surface of the actor's face. To do that, we're going to use a daily scan. Let's go ahead and load one. I'll just drag and drop an OBJ file into the graph editor. Let me also load a corresponding texture. The daily scan is a neutral 3D scan made on the day of the HMC capture. It's very important that the marker positions on the daily scan match those used on the HMC capture. If your fax scans were made on the same day as the HMC capture, you can simply use a neutral fax expression as the daily scan. If the fax set is captured on a different day and thus has a different marker layout, you need to capture a daily scan on the day of shooting with the HMC. You can do that using an iPhone, a handheld camera, or a photogrammetry rig. It doesn't have to be of perfect quality. Then, you need to wrap this daily scan with the desired topology. The same topology that is used for the fax blend shapes. Make sure that the wrapping of the daily scan is consistent with the wrapping of the neutral fax expression. Now what we need to do is to define which markers on the daily scan will be used for tracking and assign each of them a unique name. To do that, I'm going to create a select points node. I highly recommend assigning each group of points a unique base name. The points with the same base name will be visually grouped during the tracking step. Let's start with the nose. I'll set the base name to nose. When I click on the nose markers, they are automatically named nose 01, nose 02, etc. Now let's move on to the nasolabial cycle. I'm going to change the base name to nasolabial. Let's select the entire nasolabial loop. All right, for the sake of time, let me skip the selection of the rest of the points and come back to you when everything is ready. Okay, all the points have been selected. Let's hide the point labels for a moment. Note that I only select the points that are visible from the cameras on the helmet. With this done, let's create a save points node. For the file name, I'll use markers.json. Don't forget to click Compute Current Frame to save the file. These markers will be used during different steps in the pipeline later. That's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.